What's up guys, Mythical Reaper here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you the full details of the patch notes and updates of Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, plus a little bit of the live, live stream that uh, they did uh, on November 8th, the 18th. Let's begin with the patch notes uh, in Infinite Warfare. So, in multiplayer, Infected has been added back to all platforms, that means PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Hardcore Free For All has been added to all platforms as well. Hardcore Kill Confirmed has been added to PS4 and Xbox. Hardcore Kill Confirmed replayed Hardcore Defender in the Mosh Pit on PC. Removed Hardcore Defender from PS4 and Xbox. Reintroduced Search and Destroy into PC Mosh Pits. Score streaks now give team score based on where the owner is on the map in front line. Double XP UI is added. Volk tuning. Now Volk tuning, they they didn't say the, uh, if it's a nerf or a buff. I, w I would say uh, it's a little nerf because uh, a lot of people have been talking about this and saying that it is a god gun. Inactivity kick has been added to infected and that means uh, that if you leave your controller and stay AFK, you will be kicked. Uh, always turn initial infected to normal, infected if a survival suicide has been added. And what that means is that when the initial infected doesn't kill anybody and the survivor suicides and, he, and the survivor becomes an infected, the initial infected has to turn into normal infected and uh, will be given, you know, the normal infected guns rather than like a pistol or something when he is uh, in the initial infected mode. Spawn additional out of bound trigger to catch drop bombs by sub wall run has been added to frost. They also added that rigs are now properly unlocked when any of their rig packages are unlocked rather than just the first one. They also added a speculative fix for a crash in the wild. And lastly they added a fix for split screen weapon streaming. In Zombies in Spaceland they added uh, a weapon rank upgrade splash when, the, uh, when that weapon reaches a new rank. Uh, don't end the game in solo if the half is active. Correctly handle coupon clipper uh, fate and fortune card when used to call in the half version 3. Plus they fixed an exploit where players can double jump after respawning from dying via a kill trigger. They added a weapon upgrade, power up fixes and they fixed an exploit where players who played both multiplayer and campaign would get drastically increased weapon XP gain. In Modern Warfare Remastered they didn't do that much but uh, Infinity Ward confirmed that there will be future updates for Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare and uh, yeah basically what they added in Modern Warfare Remastered is a new playlist and this playlist brought two updates which they are shipment has now been added to the map rotation in tdm mercenary tdm and kill confirmed and 15 seconds respawn dla was removed from hardcore kill confirmed so basically to end this video i'm gonna be giving you guys a recap of what they discussed in the stream that they did on the 18th of november which they are, updates to the Volk, key earn rate to increase for players, PC patch was not intentionally delayed, uh, anyway it's live now, something cool is coming for PC players, playlist updates, uh, they want to rotate modes in and out, infected is back with new update, hardcore free for all, free for all and hardcore kill confirmed are live. Next weekend a new game mode is coming to infinite warfare. Uh, basically, it, uh, they stated that people who love more classic Call of Duty are really going to enjoy it. They are also going to be adding leaderboards. And in an upcoming update, Advanced UAV will see through the Ghost Perk. Combat Rig Unlock Tokens are coming. The next uh, big update uh, for Infinite Warfare is coming early December. Uh, there will be nukes coming to more weapons. And they said that the Type 2 will get a new weapon perk soon. They will also include a fix for hardpoint spawns in general. So they are basically pushing these spawns further from hills in some areas to avoid split spawns. And lastly, they are going to be adding S ports. In hardpoint, they are going to be updating the spawns. Uh, basically, they are going to be adjusting the percent start spawns. Start spawns and goals for percent for uplink. The, so they are basically they stated that they are making it more friendly for players by basically updating re the reset range over roofs. As for the payloads, uh, when using cloak, 
plant or uh, planting or diffusing the bomb carrying flag drone uh, it will drain uh, two times faster and when using bull charge you will drain two times faster when carrying the flag no more rewind exploits uh, if you use it while carrying flags you will drop the flag as for energy weapons uh, or hybrid weapons uh, they remove the ricochet from any uh, weapons in a sports rule set uh, they removed multi functionality from hybrid weapons and they are going to be adding a weapon draft system uh, and basically each player chooses a weapon and cannot choose the same weapon as the teammate while both teams are choosing at the same time and secondary weapons are not a part of the weapon draft system it's open to all players uh, bomb sites uh, be imprisoned uh, to be moved, be in scorched to be moved, one bomb site moved to bridge on retaliation, both bomb sites on breakout to be moved, a bomb site on frost to be moved, a site to be adjusted, uh, b site to be moved on throwback, uh, and lastly the cod caster improvements um, updates and more are coming. So, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Anyway, that has been the video for today. Hope you guys did enjoy and if you did, leave a big fat thumbs up. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.